welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Today I'm going to be making a classic English casserole. So um, what I've got over here, you can just see there, I've got a couple of chicken legs that I've cleaned and I've just sliced them down for easy cooking. On my plate here, I've got some potatoes, some carrots, some celery, some leeks, some tomatoes, some mushrooms, some onion. I've got a little bit of thyme, sprigs of thyme, sprigs of rosemary and a touch of sage. You can just use one if you want. I'm just going for that really sort of classic herby English flavours. I've also, got a, I've also got at the back there a little bit of Coleman's mustard. There you go, that's the classic English mustard that is. I'm just going to put you know, a, a heaped teaspoon of that into the casserole. It'll give it a nice sort of a lift, should we say. Um, that is pretty much it, apart from salt, pepper and uh, water. You can use stock if you want. I'm going for straight London water. So let's get moving on to the next stage, which is literally just adding the vegetables and the herbs into the pot. Okay, so like I said, I've got my chicken in the pot and that's been cleaned and like I said, I sliced it down the sides here, down to the bone. It just makes it cook a little bit easier. We're simply just gonna put a little bit of this in at a time. So let's start with oh, some leeks, some tomatoes, some mushrooms, onions, some celery, I've got some carrots, I've got some potatoes. I think we've got some parsnips there, a little bit of chopped parsnip. And again, let's just go around. This is all just going to go in there. There's our fresh sage going in there. So that is absolutely lovely. Some nice rosemary. These herbs are really cooked down. I mean, that will just end up being a little stalk. We'll take that out at the end. Now, simply, like I said, I've got a nice a nice heaped teaspoon of uh, English mustard, which is very strong. If you're not familiar with English mustard, then it's one of the hottest mustard there is. Okay, so there we go. Look, there's some salt. As I say with salt, on most of my other videos, be careful. You can always put salt in. You can't take it out. So slowly, slowly. Black pepper, plenty of. Now we're simply going to just cover that, just to about the top here, with uh, water. We're going to place our lid on it, and it's going to go in the oven. So let me get that water in there, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so we're going to just top this up with water. I've already put some in already. That's a lovely amount there. So simply, the lid's going to go on this, it's going to go in the oven, in the centre of the oven, I want to cook it really slowly, I want to, I want to cook this on a sort of low to medium heat, and I want to cook it for about an hour and a half. We'll take a look at it in an hour, see how she's doing. See you then. Okay, so as you can see, this is looking beautiful now. Vegetables are really starting to cook in there. And it smells fantastic with all the fresh herbs. This has been in for about 50 to 60 minutes now. We're only about halfway there though. Or just over. So I'm gonna pop that back in the oven. And I'll be back in, I would think, about another 50 minutes. And it should be ready to serve. See you in a little while. Okay, so that's been in for another 50 minutes. Let's take a look at that. Wow. That is absolutely smelling delicious. So that's a beautiful broth you've got there. That chicken's cooked perfectly. I would suggest a nice bowl of this Nice crusty, crusty bread, homemade bread, and that's been absolutely delicious. See you again next time. Take care. Bye bye. 
how to cook great food.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.